crispy dills, in parentheses, crispy fried headless anchovies. Hmm. Take a look at the picture right here. We'll see if what's inside this package matches what's on the picture. Now, if you've ever been to the Oriental food stores, you'll find gazillions of these things, but in their more natural state, just plain dried in a vacuum packed, clear package. I've never really tried any of those yet. I'm assuming what these are is those dried fish thrown into a vat of boiling oil, allowing them to effervesce and fizz and get coated with the flavoring, etc. Probably uh, had their heads chopped off prior to it, but as I'm looking at the picture, I still see eyeballs. Let's see what happens. It's not just on the hiking trail. You don't have to be a backpacker, a full-fledged backpacker, or any of that kind of stuff. You could just use this on a couple-hour hike and just bring something that's convenient. Or maybe a trip in the car. No, let's not make it the trip in the car. Hmm. There's definitely a waft of aroma coming out of there. Wow. Well, those look delectable. Fried headless anchovies. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's take a crunch. Oh, yeah. I would say these are the consistency of peanut brittle without the nuts, but there's plenty of other additives in there. Bonus parts beside the nuts. Ingredients, headless dried anchovy, which are fish, it says. Sugar, coconut oil, chili. I'm not getting much heat out of that. And that's about it. Uh, made in the Philippines. And product for the only, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, warning. Cancer and reproductive harm. <laughs> P65warnings.ca.gov. Mm, probably lead again. Not sure what the, the deal is with lead in so many of these fish from um, Asia. Well, <clears throat> ooh. I gotta be honest here. <clears throat> not a lot of fishy flavor. Not a lot of oil, not a lot of other than crunch. Doesn't seem like a lot of substance here. Definitely got crunch. Sweet. I'm here. I'm feeling a little bit of heat now. Mm. You know, kind of a mix mixture between pretzels, peanut brittle, and a candy cane. Don't ask me how the candy cane fits in there, but it seems like there's a little candy cane in there. These aren't bad, but if you're one that can't get over the aesthetic value or the, the aesthetic quality of a bag of death like that, that look like the fry cook at the local chicken drive-up window left his position for about an hour and a half, and that's all you got left. Ooh, that stuff looks well done. Well, you can definitely get your calcium out of here because there is a lot of bones in there. Perhaps it's a, an acquired taste, like many other of these uh, Asian snacks. I'm not putting it down at all. It's uh, just not something that I prefer. But if I were on a trail, or if I was on a long trip, and I was really hungry and I broke a bag of these open, I think I could devour the whole bag. And I'm sure they're probably good for you with calcium and all that kind of stuff. But there is a cancer reproductive warning, a cancer and reproductive harm warning on there. Just a full disclosure. Now they call it crispy dillies. I don't know what the dillies. It's not like it's dill pickles in there. But, you know, <clears throat> they're not at all like the anchovies you get in the can or the jar. 
Those are super salty, and obviously they're not fried or dried. Uh, these are not salty at all. Uh, they're just sweet and crunchy. There you have it. Till next time, thanks for watching.